snowing, boys. It's cold out there, too. It's cold out there, too, isn't it, Marley? Yes. What? What do you want? <laughs> Milo wants to play tug of war with you. Here, Milo. Milo, you want to play tug of war? Here you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Mickey, why did you give it to him? It's round two of the tug of war. <laughs> oh, Mickey, you give up too easy. Look it. He's showing off to you too, Mickey. He was showing off, saying, ha ha, I got it from you, Mickey. <laughs> I got two on my lap here. Yes. It's a lazy morning this morning. I've been sitting on my rear. Look at all the birdies out there. Hold on, let's show them the birdies. They might fly away. Look at all the birds out there this morning. Ooh. They must have saw you guys go in the window. They must have saw you go in the window. Yeah. There was a cardinal out there earlier. Bunch of finches and sparrows. Yep. I gotta get myself together and I've gotta go to the store. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Miggy. I got, since the last video I uploaded, I've gotten Milo here, Magnum over there. Mozzie in the window. Grant, who is over here, in the window. And Miggy, look over here. Mick. That kitty, I swear, he's gonna knock my pictures over. And Miggy here with the ball. I got it, all of them groomed. Max, are you waiting to get that kitty? Max has a hate relationship with the kitty. No love. He just likes to chase him and chase him and chase him. Oh, here goes my daughter. All right, sorry, my daughter was leaving for work, so um, they'd rather not be on video, so I respect that. <laughs> I respect that. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I've been trying to keep my, well, I've, I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. I've been trying to keep my um, bedroom door shut um, often. So it, so Grant isn't constantly going in his crate. Um, that way it keeps him out here a little more, more interactive with the, the boys and me and the family. And it's, it, I think that's what's really brought him out of his shell more um, to where he can't go in there and hide. I do uh, open the door up so he can go in there and uh, sleep, take naps, because he's not really one for laying in dog <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, there goes my daughter. Um... He doesn't like laying in dog beds. I'll see him sometimes step in these dog beds with his front paws and sniff around because the boys will eat bones and cookies in them. Um, but he won't go in them and lay down. Even the bigger dog beds I had, he won't lay on those either. Um, he'd rather either be on his crate or he just lays on the carpet. So, um, so I open the door up so he can go in there and um, have his alone time because he seems to enjoy that. So... Was Max chasing you, kitty? Oh. <laughs> Grant likes to chase the kitty, too. <laughs> I don't know if you just saw him run by there, but... Magnum, Ma Max, mostly. Um, Grant and Magnum like to chase the kitty around circles. 
Because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my house is kind of a circle. Let me show you. So we're here in the front room. Just in case you're a new subscriber, we're here in the front room. So there's kittens sleeping in his bed. So you go around like this. This way is uh, bedrooms and a restroom. Come back here to the, I call this the big living room. <laughs> Kitty, what are you doing? Are you hiding from Max? <laughs> so you go around here. Go through the little dining area. They think they're getting their dental B-O-N-E. You think they're getting your dental B-O-N-E. They still haven't gotten over not getting that in the morning. Then you turn right here. Laundry room. Got my grooming stuff set up because I've been grooming. And then right back here. So it's a big circle. And the kitty enjoys it too. He taunts them to chase them. Um, so they run in circles. been going on all my oh see grant's chasing the kitty <laughs> kitty you're getting your exercise this morning yes you are <laughs> why is everyone on my lap milo why why is everyone on my lap okay get down what i gotta finish this video i gotta get ready to go to the store okay go on go on go on, go on. Oh. yes oh my goodness it's just a bunch of commotion this morning Yes, a bunch of commotion. Chasing kitties, barking at squirrels. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I get a couple off my lap and I get more. Why are you guys sniffing me so bad? <laughs> okay, go on. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Um, yeah, so what was I talking about? I was talking about... <laughs> I was talking about them chasing the cat around. Yes. So, um, oh, and I wanted to mention too, a lot of people noticed that Grant has a, uh, watch out, Mickey, right here on Grant, he has a big, you can see the lumps here. He has a couple fatty, um, I don't know if you want to call them tumor sits, um, they're kind of hard, but we had them, so you can notice it really good when he's shaved down. You can kind of see the lumps. He's got a couple of them. I think they counted like seven fatty tissue cyst type things. There's, uh, there's, uh, it's not, um, cancer or anything. They did needle aspirations. Oh my goodness. Look at guys. See the cardinal out there? There's a cardinal out there, boys. Pretty. Um, they did needle aspirations, and they're just fatty cysts that he has. So probably when he, um, when we have to have his teeth cleaned again, I think he had him. I think he had his teeth cleaned last March. His uh, vet records showed that we were given from his previous owners. Um, so probably when he gets his teeth cleaned, we'll have some of them. Especially that bigger one there. Um, <laughs> um, we'll probably have that removed when he gets his <laughs> teeth cleaned again, just because it's it's pretty big. He's got a, oh my goodness! He's got, he's got a couple little ones. Hold on, guys. Okay. Um. He has a couple little ones too. I don't know if we get those removed or not, but that big one we're probably going to have removed. So, um, yeah, I noticed a couple people noticed that before on him. That's what it is. They're like fatty cysts he has and older dogs. Even Magnum has a couple little ones. A couple little ones on. Uh, his side when he gets his teeth cleaned he'll get removed so schnauzers get those they're, they're prone to that so um yeah but nothing serious um i guess i'll get going because i think it's gonna be a barking kind of day look at all those birds <laughs>
This is what life's like. Okay, I get a lot of questions about the barking of schnauzers. And when you have seven, it's amplified. Um, schnauzers bark. I know some people say their dogs don't, they're schnauzers, but schnauzers were bred to be ratting dogs. So if they have windows like my house, um, they're going to be barking a lot. <laughs> or people walking by or deliveries, um, anything like that. Schnauzers are going to bark. Um, they're, they are a barky dog. Um, cause I know a lot of people email me asking me about that. Uh, so if you are thinking about getting a schnauzer, know that they are barky dogs. <laughs> you can just watch my video and see that. And yes, I do have bird feeders out. So I draw the squirrels and birds. They don't bark at the birds. They don't care about birds. But when those little squirrels, there was a little red squirrel out here earlier and the brown squirrels were chasing it away. And that little red squirrel was darting across the yard. Oh my goodness, they were going nuts. These, these curtains are pretty much, I don't know how they haven't been ripped down. Um, they're destroyed though from the cat and the dogs <laughs> pulling on them, the cat's claws. Eventually I'll have to get um, different curtains. I told my husband maybe, because eventually one day we'd like to replace these windows because um, the seals broke down here in this bottom window over here. We'd like to replace these and the dogs tear the paint up with their claws. Um, I said, maybe we should get windows that have shades built in. And then just have a valance maybe across the top. <laughs> so the dogs don't tear them up and the cat don't tear them up. Kitty's really enjoying all the birdies. Yes, he is. See him there? He's really enjoying watching all the birdies. I just got to remember, works their mind. They're not bored. They're getting some mental exercise. Staring out the windows and barking. <laughs> It does get annoying after a while, but they're dogs. What do you do? All right, guys, I got to get myself together and get to the store. We will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Well, I thought I would take you, keep the video going and take you guys along with me to Meyer. Because I know some of you have said you like when I take you out and about with me on my day. So... Got to go to Meyer to get some dental bones. I want to get some more stuff to clean up pet messes. Uh, I wanted to mention too, which I forgot to do in the previous clip, that Grant wasn't sick when I found him with the poop in his bed and I found poop in the hallway. Now, I'm assuming it was Grant's poop. I don't know 100% for sure. I do know the poop in his house was his. <laughs> um, and no, he wasn't shut in his house and he pooped. A lot of, I had a lot of nasty messages um, about that. And I don't believe he pooped overnight, but I'm not totally for sure. Because um, somebody wrote me a nasty message saying, how could you not smell that? And blah, blah, blah. And just nastiness. Um, if he was laying on it, I'm not going to smell it. Um, and I don't think he did it overnight. I really don't. I think it was in the morning. So... And he wasn't locked in his crate. His door was open. So, I don't know what happened. But it hasn't happened since. I do know that Grant, especially now that it's getting colder, um, he will run out the door, go pee, and then, and then act like he's, gonna, he's done. He can come right back in. Um, I've been making him stay out a little longer, in which I've noticed he runs back down. Sniffs around like he's going to go. Comes back out and barks. Wants back in. And then he'll run back down. Sniff around. And then he'll go number two. So <laughs> he's a smart dog too. Um, he knows like at night when I let him out. They know when it's their last time to go out for the night before they're going to bed. And uh, he knows he's going to get a treat when he comes back in. A uh, bedtime treat. So he's a smart dog. He's not dumb at all. So I think he runs out peas and wants his treat. So wants to come back in. So I've been having to go out at night. I throw on my boots, my coat, my hat, my gloves. And I um, walk around with him out there. So he uh, knows I'm out there with him. And that I'm not going to just instantly open the door and let him in. And go get in his crate and get a treat. So 
Um, it had nothing to do with him being sick or anything, and he hasn't had a problem since, since I've been kind of changing things up a little bit, um, making sure he goes number two outside. So even in the morning, I have to get out there with him, walk him around, and he'll go. So, And it's not because you don't know he has to go. He knows he has to go. He just wants to come run back in because he thinks he's going to get food. <laughs> he's no dummy. Um, so, yeah. So, But I do need to get some more stuff for cleaning up pet messes. And I've got to get just a couple other little food items um, here at Meyer, Which is not far from my house. I'm very lucky. I told my husband, because we were talking about our plans in, say, 5, 10 years. Um, where we want to be. What we want to be doing. Um and we had talked about maybe getting um, a smaller house when some of the dogs are gone, which is it's horrible to even talk about, but eventually some of our dogs won't be with us anymore. And we talked about we'd probably want a smaller home. Um, and um, where am I going with this? I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm losing my train of thought. Why was I even talking about that? Oh my God, you guys, I'm still half asleep. And it's 1230. <laughs> it's 12.30 in the afternoon. Why was I talking about that? Oh, I was talking about how I love that our house is centrally located here um, in Swartz Creek. That both vets are 10, five, one vet's five minutes away from our house and one's 10. Meyer and Kroger are so close to our house. His office is just a couple blocks down the road. I said... It'll be hard leaving this house because it's so convenient. It's in such a convenient spot. <laughs> that's where I was. That's why I was talking about this. So, yeah, our house is great for us right now. But in five, ten years when we're older and um, don't have as many dogs, we won't need such a big house. Plus, one of our, our son has already moved out. Our daughter will probably be moved out. She um, finishes up college here in the fall she'll be done and she'll be moving out probably after some of that student debt's paid down and we won't need such a big house so um but i love our house right now yes i do so all right guys i'm gonna go in here grab my stuff and i'll be back Done at Meyer. I was in the slowest checkout lane I've ever encountered there. The lady was so slow. It was busy um, for a Monday afternoon. It was quite busy there. I was surprised. So I thought I'm not leaving her lane because I'll probably go to another one that's even worse <laughs> or have more things in their basket. She was so slow, I contemplated um, finding a manager to complain. I don't ever complain, and I didn't. I didn't do it. I'm just not that type of person. I probably should be sometimes, but I just don't like confrontation <laughs> at all about anything, even to complain about somebody who's doing their job horribly. Um, she was so slow. I could have been out of there probably 25 minutes ago, except I was in line forever. Because she was taking so long and moving so slow. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I'm finally done at Meyer. <laughs> now I'm starving. It's 1.38. So I thought, I'm going to drive outside of Swartz Creek here a little ways and go get me a Jimmy John sub for lunch. Never, I can only ever eat half of it, so I'll save half for tomorrow for lunch, too. But So, I'm like, I could feel myself getting upset. It was getting hot. The mask I had to wear was making me even more hot. Um, I just was so upset. Why don't I ever complain? I had a right to complain. She was terrible. <laughs> 
Oh well. Oh goodness. All right, I'm gonna go get myself something. Hi, can I get a number 16 minus the tomato with extra mayonnaise okay. and a large Coke, please? This is all for you? Yep, that'll do it. Oh, all right, thanks. All right, we're home. See how long it takes for them to start barking. I can take my boots off. Oh, there they go. <laughs> there they go barking. <laughs> Let me set my sandwich down. And my drink. I had to get a drink because I was so hot. I keep my coat off too. <laughs> They're probably thinking, we want our dental bone. We want our dental bone, Mom. It's about the time I give it to them. It's almost, it's almost 2 o'clock now. My coat over here. My bed's not made, so forgive me. Uh-oh, someone's howling. Kitty toys. You guys, here, come on, Grant. Come on. Come on, Grant. He's going to play this game with me. So I'm going to try to hurry up. I got to run. I got to run. I got to run ahead of them. Look, they messed up the rug. I've got to go shut the door. He likes to play this game where you don't go out. Look at him. He's running. And he wants to run back to his bed. So I <laughs> have to trick him. Hurry up and go shut the door. Grant, you need to go potty. You gotta go potty. Come on. Come on. Come on, Grant. Come on, Grant. Come on. Come on, Grant. Your door is shut. The door is shut. You can't go back in there. Let me see if I can go behind him and try to coax him to the door. Come on. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. It's okay. Come on. Let's go outside. Yes, come on. Come on. Watch out, boys. Watch out. Watch out. Let Grant out. <laughs> He's such a stinker. Look at They know I'm going to give them their dental bone here in a minute. But I need them to go potty first. I don't know if you can hear me, but Milo, every time I go somewhere and I come home, if I have a shoe or some cozy socks um, at the end of the bed, he always grabs one of my shoes and brings it out here <laughs> and bites on it and or a slipper sock. He's such a stinker. 
I always am losing a shoe or a sock. Let me put this back. Someone told me to get Crocs for my feet. Those flip-flops are working, but Crocs work too. They make my feet feel so good. It's so weird. I've never bought Crocs before. So yeah, and then Grant always wants to run back to the bedroom and not go outside. He's a little, he's a stubborn one in his old age, that's for sure. And then Magnum sometimes when I come home, he won't go out right away because he wants me to give him extra pets before he goes outside. Yes. Kitty, you want a cookie too? You want a treat too? All right. Did I shut that bedroom door? I can't remember. I know they didn't do their business all the way. I know they didn't. <laughs> they were barely out there, so I'm gonna have to let them back out. I'm gonna have to let you guys back out after I give you your bone. Yes, I am. Did everyone come out? Let me do a head count. Come here. Come here, boys. Let me do a head count. Come here. Come here. Let me see. Okay, sit. Sit. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. Everyone's in here. You guys are going to have to go back outside, though, because I know you didn't do your business. I got one left of the beef. The beef, and then I got some mint ones. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Marley, you want the beef one? There you go. There you go. One of these days, I'm going to lose a finger. <laughs> I just know it. I just know it. Okay, you guys enjoy your bones. There you go. Okay. Let me get the kitty some treats. Okay. Get a couple for Merlin over here. Come over here, Merlin, away from the dogs. There you go. There's a couple for you. Oh, we got to find Kitten. Kitten, are you being lazy? You're not coming to get your little treats? Okay, there you go, old man. There you go. All right. <laughs> it's just a day I come up. Uh, lots of commotion going on around here today. Yes. All right, I'm going to go outside and get my groceries, and I'll show you what I got. There, they had their bone. Now they're going out. <laughs> All right, what did I get from the store? I know some of you like to know. I thought I'd do more videos of showing a little bit more of my day. Um, and I'm hoping to have more videos out a week. Starting this week. Last week I kind of took the week off. Um, except for that one video addressing my Schnauzer Mom Facebook and Schnauzer Mom Instagram. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's the last video I posted. Um, okay, so I got eggs. Two things of eggs. I got some hamburger buns because I'm going to make some hamburgers tonight. My husband, my husband's birthday was December 15th and he ordered the Omaha Steaks um, online for his birthday because you can't go out to restaurants here uh, in Michigan. So we usually go out on our birthdays and since we couldn't go out, he wanted some nice steaks. So he ordered a um, some kind of package of steaks that it also came with some, um, hamburgers. So ground beef burgers, Omaha steak burgers. There's eight of them. This came with the steaks that he got. So let me see if this is open. Yes. So I got those thawing out. So I thought I'd make those tonight. And I'm going to tell you what, the steaks we ordered, they were bacon wrapped fillets for his birthday. Oh my goodness. They were so good. <laughs> So good. So I had to get some hamburger buns because we're going to cook, cook up those hamburgers. I'm hoping those are just as good as the steaks we ordered. Oh, so good. Um, I got a little thing of um, country white bread from the bakery. Um, some half and half for my husband. I got a couple packages of ground beef. The boys dental sticks. This is what I've been giving them lately. The pedigree dentist sticks and the whimsies. Um, size, what size are these? Size small, I believe. Dogs 15 to 25 pounds, yeah. So, I got three bags of those, two boxes of the dentist sticks. I was giving them the Dental Life, I believe it's by Perina, 
Um, but I noticed these two, they eat a little slower. So they're eat, if it's taking them longer to eat it, it's cleaning their teeth better. So this is what I've been giving them, kind of um, mixing it up a little with both. Um, it cost, I think this was on sale for $21 and you get 51 sticks in a variety. So, and then this bag was on sale for 20 I think twenty dollars, so hundred bucks in dental sticks. <laughs> How many comes in this one? Forty. So the whimsies come with forty, so they're more expensive. And then this box comes with fifty-one. And Grant is barking. I bought a couple different salads for my husband for work. This is a turkey bacon cob salad, um, a Santa Fe style, and a chef salad bought those for him. I got a package of Oscar Mayer bologna. It's the only kind I'll eat. <laughs> and I'll only eat Oscar Mayer bacon too. Um, some turkey meat for sandwiches, some lettuce for our burgers. I got a couple packages of meatballs to throw in my um, freezer out in the garage. I got some more cheese for giving out dogs medication. I got some stainless steel wipes for my appliances. And I thought I'd tried this stain remover. Um, I looked it up and the reviews were pretty good. It was on sale, so I thought I'd try it. So I got the urine destroyer. Didn't come in a spray bottle, but I can use my other spray bottle, just pour that in it. And then uh, stain and odor remover, which is good for like, if somebody throws up or just the poop. and. Then this one for urine if anybody accidentally pees. So, yep, that's what I got. My bill was 200 bucks. And like I said, just the bags of dog treats was 100 bucks <laughs> of their dental bones. Kitty, get off of my island. Get off. All right, let me let these boys in. I hear you. I hear you. Is that five? I try to count them when they come in. Oh, Grant's, he went back down there. I better get out, the, I better get out so he can't see me. In case he's gotta do something. Oh, my God. oh here he comes, okay. I didn't want him to see me and run in in case he didn't do his business. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video now. Um, I'm going to eat my sandwich, put away my groceries, yes. I was going to groom these two. These are my last two I got to groom, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to, I need to clean up my bathroom. I need to do some cleaning. And tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment. So I've got to fill out some paperwork that they sent me um, and get that done. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope everybody had a great day today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, uh, like this video, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys again um, in our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.